Joining us now, our second guest of the day, and first in studio is Justin Durfee, the director of Marriott Center and Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Justin, welcome to Studio B. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You're a very busy man. I'm quite surprised <laughs> to see you not in a hard hat. Has that become like a, a daily thing, part of your wardrobe? It has. A hard hat, a safety vest, safety goggles, and for about a month we also were wearing a uh, masks whenever we'd go into the arena. It was very dusty. So, And your office is in there, so you're, are you sitting in there all day with a mask on? And stuff? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just when we go out into the arena. But now everything is pretty well dust-free, or at least getting that way. So th just the hard hat and the vest for now. Hard to... Uh put uh, a cap on like how much excitement BYU Sports Nation feels about the you know what the Marriott Center is going to look like every time you guys tweet out a picture you know it's mm -hmm. it's a big deal mm -hmm. how are the renovations coming along very well everything is on schedule uh, we really have not had any major problems or hiccups with the with the project um, we've hit some important milestones over the last couple of weeks most of the New concrete is in now, and uh, seats are now being installed on the east side of the building, sections one through four. So th the project is, like I said, coming remarkably well and, and right on schedule. Paint a picture for us. Take us inside the Merritt mm -hmm. Center. On, on the TV side, we're looking at pictures. We'll mm -hmm. tweet some of those out. But uh, what's it like in there as yeah. you walk in there and you see this? If you were to go in the Marriott Center right now, you would see uh, people installing the chairs, like I said, on the east side. And uh, you'd see some construction workers tearing off forms. Uh, the the uh, concrete was poured yesterday for the stairs that go down the west side of the building. So you'd see that going on. And then you'd see people installing the new hoist for the new scoreboard. So you'd see people up working in the, the grid up in the ceiling. Justin Durfee, director, Marriott Center and Lavelle Edwards Stadium on BYU Sports Nation. We are talking renovations within the Marriott Center. You mentioned to us during the break that the last time you put in some blue seats, there, mm -hmm. there may have been some complications. Mm -hmm. You said it's going way better <laughs> this time. What changed to make things better this time around? Well, there's a couple of things. First off, the, the real problem last time is they were working right above our offices. And so we had about a solid month there with jackhammering right above us, oh. which, was, <laughs> which was not a lot of fun. But this time, the, the work has been going on in other parts of the building. And then the second thing is uh, Jacobson Construction, the general contractor, they did the first phase three years ago, and they learned a lot during that process. And so they've been able to implement those things this time, and it's helped them to be more efficient and get things done right on schedule. So when's the, when's the big screen going to go in? So work on the scoreboard starty is started Monday, uh, and you'll probably start seeing pieces of that being hung uh, middle of next week, maybe. And when uh, when do you expect all of this to be done? The completion date for everything is August eighth. Mm. Our first event is uh, August thirteenth with uh, commencement. And so Wait, one month from today. Correct. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you're on schedule, you said? On schedule. Amazing. Mm -hmm. If you were to go over there right now, you'd actually, amazingly enough, you'd see some cleaning starting to happen. So, hmm. uh, like I said, with all the concrete in, the dust level starting to come down, handrails uh, are starting to go in, there's, there's uh, places that are being painted. So we're kind of on the, the part of the project where you actually start to see results. The NCAA just released uh, the numbers for average attendance for NCAA basketball teams. BYU, a top 10 team, number mm -hmm. nine at just over 16,000 per game. Mm -hmm. What kind of spike do you expect mm -hmm. in year one of uh, the renovations? Yeah. You know, that's tough to say. Uh, we've had really good attendance, not just last year, but over the last few years. And the the lower level of the Marriott Center is sold out in season tickets pretty much every year. Uh, we get good student attendance to, at all of our games. And so uh, that number might go up a little bit, but I would think that it's going to hold steady pretty well. Uh, the We've heard about, you know, dinosaur bones or whatever under LaBelle Edwards <laughs> Stadium. Is there, are there, is there anything like that with the Merritt Center? Anything, a room of requirement or something? <laughs> no. That, some people don't know that you can actually walk underneath the court at the Marriott Center. Um, Did not but there's, that? there's no, there's no uh, dinosaur bones or mummies or anything when you go under the court. But, yeah, you can walk under you the court. You can walk under it. Mm -hmm. What's it like it, under? It, well, it goes back to the day when the building was first constructed, the, the floor was suspended. There was nothing underneath the basketball court. And so you'd walk under there to perform maintenance and things like that. And now there's a cement deck there and, and you walk you can walk under there and it's just some storage space. Hmm. 
What's your biggest? We're gonna call you one day to go into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. What's your biggest stress point right now mm-hmm. in the middle of renovations? You know, the biggest stress right now, I think, is the scoreboard. I mean, the seating project has has come along really nicely. And, and it's not even the scoreboard, like the structure itself. The, the, the structure is basically all built, and it will come from Seattle just in pieces and get put together. Um, but we're working now to uh, provide the best uh, control room for the scoreboard, the best production area that we can that's going to preserve the equipment and that's going to allow the people that are going to operate it to provide the best experience to the people that are in the arena. And so we just want all of those things to be just right so they can do that. Why? Uh, why was the uh, big uh, the scoreboard not centered originally? And it will be now, right? <laughs> it will be, uh, yeah. And so uh, nobody really has been able to give a good <laughs> answer on that. Because you look up and yeah. you say, "Why is that not yeah. centered? That's so weird." Uh, you know, different people have had different explanations. Probably the best one is that it had to do with devotional. Originally, that structure had speakers in it for sound, and so uh, the devotional stage would get set up right underneath the the scoreboard Mm -hmm. we don't have any sound components in the scoreboard now so we can put it wherever we want do you feel like a proud papa when you look at you know the (laughs) day-to-day advancements of you know of your baby and it's it's progress it it is really exciting and it's going to be such a a major improvement for the building both the scoreboard and the seating Um, there's just been so many people that have been involved with the project and have worked so hard to make this all happen and so it is very satisfying to see it all coming together are you also in charge of the annex? Is that something you'll help? You know, I, I don't think any decisions have been made with that yet. Mm. If to see, know if that's going to stay with athletics or if our crew is going to manage it as well. Okay. Do you do you at least know what's going on right now out there? Mm. Yeah, right now. we see it every day when we walk in here yeah. and we feel it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, there's a utility tunnel that runs in front of the north side of the Marriott Center. And the work that's going on here now is to build another tunnel that will connect the annex to that utility tunnel so that it has the high temperature water that they use for heating and and all of the communication lines and everything so that's what's happening now and ground is supposed to be broken on that um later this fall or next is it next year i'm trying to remember the latest that i've heard is probably in the fall okay now as the director of the two major (laughs) facilities on campus at byu i'm gathering you've seen some pretty remarkable and epic contests in the marriott center lavelle Mm -hmm. stadium are what, what's your favorite contest? We'll start with the Marriott Center. What's the best game you've seen in the Marriott Center? Wow, the best game that I've seen in the Marriott Center. It's, it's probably back before I worked here. Um, I think my, one of my best memories is uh, the, I don't even know what year it was, but the big comeback that BYU made against Utah. And um, uh, now I'm blanking on names with the point guard that never shot the ball, hit the three. Matt, Matt Montague. Matt Montague. Yeah, there you go. He, he, he knocks down the big shot to, to kind of put it away. So that's that's one of my favorite Marriott Center mm. memories. Okay, very good. That was good. a great game. <laughs> Justin Durfee, great stuff. We appreciate the update on the Marriott Center. We wish you the best of luck as, as you push forward. And, man, August 8th, a month away, right around the corner. And we'll call you about going under the court. That sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, thanks for coming to Studio B. Thank you.